the motors in the Dyson V10. Renowned for blowing up. Well, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at one that almost has look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? If you're following the channel, after all this has gone live, this is a brief pause. I've just washed up the V10 that I've taken apart to replace this part. We are dealing with a spares machine and the original. And this is the motor from the original. And look at that look. It's so small my thumb can barely see it if I get too close to the camera it's all going to go blurry but that is little SMD where, where are we little SMD C6 look come on focus whatever Mr C6 does has blown and I'm not quite sure what its problem is because the machine works fine. Now we're dealing with two different motors. I can tell from the part numbers. You know 94V0. They are both 94V0. But this one has that writing on it. And this one is more of that sort of writing. 1813, 1850, 02, 06. So I've no idea which of these motors is the newer one. But it got me thinking. Because this isn't the only experience of a digital motor that I have had. I got given, in fact, I've got two. And as soon as I saw this, I think I know what the problem is with the other one. Two dead Dyson DC-49s. And the reason that one of them died, look, is because it's been very on fire. Look at that. Now, I know that obviously I'm not a terribly important person in the world of anything. But I did Facebook Dyson about this and asked if they sold just the motor with a picture of that and they couldn't really care less but it'd be interesting about this because you know despite that being fully blown off it was actually there i it, it wiped off as i sort of cleaned it up so whether it's still going to work or not i go the date look 0107 0109 that's got to be the month, because these weren't around in 2017 and 2009. 220713. So we had the same board, different revisions. Was it revised? Because they did this. Who knows? But I'm going to put this to one side, because I'm going to fit. This is from the spares machine. This is going back in the customer's Dyson, because I don't want to send it out. With a blown motor, Dyson have already written the machine off because of the accidental damage. They wouldn't even let the customer pay for somebody to come and fix it. So that's where I come in as your resident screwdriver monkey, rabid vacuum enthusiast. But the motor does work. With the motor, with its broken parts fitted to the machine, we can slot a battery in, put a filter on, otherwise the machine won't turn on, and yeah, it works perfectly fine. 
Far too much clutch in the bit of it, but then again we are missing pretty much all of this that does make a difference. I'm not going to pull all that on now, but yes, it does work, but I wonder how many are out there. Hoping it's going to go down or something. But no, I don't think it is. Very strange. Yeah, I thought I would share this with you. Please comment if you know anything technical about these. Or indeed, if you've seen it before, because it really would not surprise me. Dyson V10 motors do seem to catch fire and burn out, which is fantastic. So, thank you very much for watching this short little impromptu video, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.